Um, I'm Philip Arder and today I thought we could uh, play a game or I could explain how you can play a game called Triple Word Score. Triple Word Score. And it's very simple. What you need is a book. <laughs> there we are. And this is a book. And this book is called The Adventures of Robin Hood. And it doesn't matter any book. Maybe a big fat book because what you want to get from this book is words. So big fat book, words. And what you do is you're going to choose three words at random, which means without looking, just by luck. So I'm going to open the page there. I'm going to put my finger on a word, and the word is save. Can you see? Save. So our first word is going to be save. Let's put it up there. Bing. Okay. Right. Big fat book. We want our second word. And our second word is angrily. Whoops. Can you see? Angrily. So save and angrily. And our third word, I'm going to get it from near the front. Save angrily. I'm going to go for the middle, not looking, looking at you, not looking there. Right. And the word is, what is that word? Is that word? What is that word? I can't read it. You! Oh, it's because I was looking at the camera. So, save angrily you. So what we want to do is you're going to write a story, or you could speak a story if you're telling this in a circle. Circle, 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 circle. Triple word score! Fat book words! Save angrily people. No, not people. What's the last word? Can't remember. Going to have to stop the camera, play it back and find out. You. The word was you, which is why I said people, because you're people. Save angrily you, fat book. Triple word score. So we want a story. We're going to tell a story. We can either write it down. <laughs> not on the front of a book. It's not even a library book. But we must respect books. Love books. Because they love you back. Write a story with the word save angrily and you. So I have a friend called Jim, and one day he went out to the shops, and when he got there, he saw a huge pile of bananas, and next to it was a sign that said, buy one, get one free. And the first thing he did, he went up to the person who owned the shop, who was called, and he said, excuse me, sir, he didn't know the man's name, and he said, yes, what did you just tell And he said, I noticed over by the bananas, the bananas, the bananas, there's a sign that says, buy one, get one free, does that mean one banana or one bunch? And he said, it means one Bunch. So Jim rushed back over to the banana section, the section which the bananas were contained, where the bananas could be found, and he got one bunch, and he chose another equally nice bunch, knowing that he would get two bunches of bananas for the price of one bunch of bananas. So that way he would save, 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 save money. So he went up to the counter and he went to pay. And at the counter was Mrs. <laughs> um, and Mrs. <laughs> Although she was married to Mr. Brown, <laughs> and she didn't take Mr. Brown's name because she thought Mr. Brown's name was stupid. So she kept her name, which her maiden name, her unmarried name, which <laughs> so she became Mrs. <laughs> um, and didn't take his name. Anyway, he went up with two huge piles of bananas and he said, I hear it's buy one, get one free. And she said, well, actually, it's why, it's why one banana, buy one, it's why, 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 why. it's buy one banana, get one free. He said, I was told it's buy one bunch, get one free. And she said, no, it's buy one banana, but not come. And by a complete coincidence, there were exactly the same bananas in each bunch, which meant that she counted. One, one free, two, two three. All the three books exactly the same as buying one bunch and getting another one free, buy one banana getting another one free because they're the same number in the bunch. <sighs> so, of course, Jim should be happy. But he said, angry, 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 angry. I wish you understood. We got things sorted so I didn't have to wait all this time while I've been waiting. You finished counting bananas. And she went, oh, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Anyway, that's 6,420 poor poor. That's the, um, instead of pounds, means offence, it's poor poor. That's 6,020 mm, poor poor. So he said, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, ah, oh. We looked at the dustbin lid. And she said, well, just because it's you. So there we are. A very simple, straightforward, not at all Siri, 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 Siri. That's that thing you talk to and it sometimes answers back. Um, not Siri, silly. Um, that was rather a silly, silly um, story. But maybe you could uh, open a big fat book and pick words at random. Or maybe you could try and write or tell a story that has the sentence, has the word save angrily in you in it. Or you just pick it and pick words. I'm going to have a go another time, maybe tomorrow, with another lot of three words picked at random, probably from the same book tomorrow. I know how to live dangerously. But in the meantime, why don't you have a go and have good fun? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. What do you mean there's already end music?